Ockham defence has got a better chance of, uh, of getting the ball back. And again, more trouble here. The only option out wide. And now Thailand can be going 6-3. Oh, good chase. But just a little bit too far away. It is 6-3 Thailand. What a great start for them. Really, and that's just the thing with Thailand. You see that dig is past the 10-foot line. Pretty out of system, and we're, they're still running a D to that back row hitter. You just got a lot of weapons coming at you from all angles. Hard. I mean, I didn't spend much time above the net, but for middle blockers, it's pretty hard. Come on, you got to jump like a flea. You know that's you did. Right. But if those middle blockers, it's a bit like a moth to the line, isn't it? You've got to stay away, stay away. I can't help it. Hold, no, hold. Yeah. That's another cracking shot. We saw one from Alexa Gray. That's another really good shot. Time. You see that little pump by the by Porn Pun the setter. Just that middle blocker to pop. And then the outside hitter is one on one. You just never know the rhythm of that. It's so tough to defend. Wonderful play. And once again, it's Pimpachaya, Pimpachaya, and Acharapon, and Chachuan are the three hitters for Thailand who are just making it so, so difficult for Canada right now. But they can all hit the pipe, they can all. Decent ball in from Chachuan. And all are restored for Thailand. 22 17, three away now from taking the set, but warning signs for Thailand, that's for sure. What a great hold by setter, the setter from Thailand. You see those blockers pumping on that middle, and it just goes right over to the back row attacker. More often than not, actually hits the block. So the emphasis being put on the blocking team to call the challenge when they haven't touched the ball, as opposed to the referee just calling for four, and then the, blocking, the attacking team going, no, you didn't touch the block. Quite an interesting stat that came out of that, actually. And, and the way that refereeing has changed now, to, to put the onus on the defense. And then as a serving team, you're not too sure where you should stand to receive the ball, which can make it really tough. Yeah, that is tough. The jump float, they're just, uh, it's like a knuckleball in baseball, so just move it. <laughs> and if you're jump serving, there's a little bit of tail on it, and sometimes you can prepare for one or the other, so to not know, definitely puts a little more pressure on those passers. Even though that was probably... That's not going to be coming back. Looks like Thailand's really trying to push that right side of the court, especially when they're running forward. I don't blame them. <laughs> it's scoring pretty well for them. Against these teams that are so good defensively. Just continue to hit your shot even if they're making some plays. Good up, that stays in play, so Thailand have to come again. Oh, that was unlucky, just ricocheting off the block, and there's nothing, unfortunately, Bree King to do, could do to bring it back into play. See Thailand running with a lot of speed behind, and just a different He's out in defense and working hard to convert him. There's no rest in playing Thailand, playing Japan, and playing Korea. You've got three teams who all play a very similar style of volleyball, which is we'll do your best, we'll give you back, have another go. <laughs> right. Great defenders, and just they bring an attack from all over. You can see they're hitting out of the back row already. They're kind of out of system, hype in transition, and you just know that there's going to be a lot coming at you every single play. It's a lovely technique that Pippa Chai has got. She, she tends to stay a little bit square on. You don't see that traditional shoulders open right up. But there's just enough of a movement, isn't there, where she can really whip her arm through the ball. Such a quick arm swing. One reason. That means Bree King will be substituting out her trainers and sneakers for some running shoes. And that will do. Not often that Thailand make an unforced error. So point for Canada there, only uh, from week two of the Women's Volleyball Nations League here in Quezon City in the Philippines. 
great point opportunity already here for Thailand. Oh, yes, sir. Well played. Wow. Wow, I mean, look at that. I'm so like, yeah, go on, have this. Just running forward, has to get real low under, underneath that ball and flings it back. Great range by that setter. Gray will have another go. Chachuan says no. That has come off the block, I believe, and it has landed out. So, Thailand once again, Pimpachaya frustrating Canada. Well played, Chachuan. Oh, that's just quality, Pimpachaya. Has uh, tidied things up, but interestingly, Thailand have brought in Bon Punt now. So number three has come back in, has come in to try and uh, just settle the ship a little bit here for Thailand. They've been looking for. Well, this is where Thailand are so good, and where they're going to just keep doing this now. They're going to, they know Canada block is a, is a threat, but they're just so good at these kind of plays. Really tough as a setter. They're you know they're facing all these directions. She seems to do that an awful lot of support. But she goes early, and so she's suddenly got that attention of the of the block, and then decides where she's going to go. They can continue on or just delay it a little bit. Yeah, just long enough. You see, she. I mean, that's not. Easy. Still can't find the floor. Wow. And still the rally goes on. Mitrovic, oh, she's dug. That's a pawn all over it. And then Chachuan gets the block out. A little bit of gymnastics there to avoid that ball coming back. That's well got out of the way of. I was so enamored with the swing, I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even hear it. Nice play by Gray to get that ball back. What a tough set. That was an even tougher set. Yeah. And that kind of sums up the way Canada have been playing in this one. They got themselves level, they didn't get in front, and then it's just these little things that will are contriving to uh, pull against That's one of my one of my favourite plays is is the pipe attack when especially when it brings up no block and you've got someone coming in like look at this by the time that that ball's being hit a couple of metres off the net in the men's game it's being hit on the net right. and it's just like ba boom and it's just a jump and this is it Canada have managed to turn things around here they are back to within one God, I say that's some dig from Van Rijk. We'll have to, to come again here, Canada. That's well played by Alexa Gray. And then just like that, Chachuan wraps it all up, gives Thailand the point. You can watch that all day long. You could you could want a chance to get it done here. Oh, it's into transition. Oh, that's wonderful. What a wonderful shot that was from Van Rijk. And now it's all tied up at 24 all. Wow, that was nasty. Sometimes you just got to kill him with kindness. She did a great job of hiding that switch. For Thailand. It's 25-24 for Thailand, it should be. And it will get done. First time of asking, Thailand have turned it around.
and they got another victory here on the VNL. They were three and one coming out of Ankara. They have opened up their account here in the Philippines with a victory, putting them to four and one, and their bid to make it into the top eight of this year's VNL.